Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of import and further processing of an Atlantis Core file in the InLab software, version 18.0. In this video, we will demonstrate the workflow from the administration phase to the manufacture phase. After we have downloaded and saved the DXD file, Atlantis Core file, from the Atlantis web order page, we first open the system menu and click Import. The software automatically takes us to our drives. In our case, the folder that contains the core file is already pre-selected. We mark our DXD file and click Open. After the file has been imported, we are automatically moved to the administration phase, where we determine the grinding and milling unit, the material manufacturer, and the material. After we have filled in all required fields, we move to the next available phase, the model phase, by clicking the double arrow. Since the model data are transmitted with the Atlantis Core file, we can skip the scan phase and continue with the model phase. In this phase, we determine the model axis and then switch to the step Set Jawline. In this step, we adjust the jawline displayed in orange with the help of the blue balls. The line should correspond with the main jawline, and the blue ball should be placed between anterior teeth and premolars, and premolars and molars. Then we move to the next step, Draw Margin. We briefly check the preparation margin that has already been defined, and switch to the last step of the model phase, Set Insertion Axis. Since we won't make any changes to the automatically defined insertion axis, we go on with the next phase, the design phase. In our case, we keep the factory settings parameter settings and initiate the calculation of the design proposal by clicking the Edit Element step. The design can be modified by activating different functions in the side panel. Once you are satisfied with the design, you can move to the export phase here, in the case of a cemented crown, and start the manufacturing process. Alternatively, we can now turn our cemented restoration into an occlusal screw-retained restoration. The data for the position of the Atlantis abutment screw channel is transmitted with the DXD file and stored in the Gingiva Mask image catalog. Therefore, we activate the function Upper Gingiva in the window under Display Objects. The position of the Atlantis abutment screw channel, displayed in red, can be seen very well from Palatinal. To plan the opening for the screw channel in our restoration, we activate the tool called Screw Channel, and then click Add Screw Channel. Now our restoration is transparent, and with the help of the displayed arrows, we can adjust the tilt and position of the screw channel so that it matches the position of the Atlantis Core File screw channel. Additionally, the diameter of the screw channel can be optimally modified by moving the slide control. Next, you see the 3D model with already adjusted position and diameter of the screw channel. Clicking the double arrow moves us to the third phase, the export phase. At this point, we take another look at our restoration from different angles and could start the production of the restoration thereafter. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with InLab.